ladies and gentlemen, moving on to our next contest. Please welcome the first fighter into the cage, Robbie Brown. Well, if you don't want to jump around right now, you soon will be. An incredible, absolutely crazy match for this one. Robbie Brown, first and foremost, from Closed Combat Arena, making his way down the fighter's entrance. And Dean, this guy's got 10 fights to his name. Possibly one of the most experienced amateurs we've got here tonight. And certainly going to represent everything of what the camp is all about here in London. Very, very experienced MMA, the type of guy who's got gifts in all areas, and when it comes down to combining them, that's the type of base you want as a young fighter. Coming in five and five from Close Combat Arena, he brings everything to the table. He's an athlete at heart, and he's able to put every single skill set together and merge them like a perfect puzzle and bring it forward in MMA. And ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the second fighter to enter the cage. Farid Basharat! Well, we certainly alluded to it earlier tonight about the must-see athletes on this card. One of those has to be the Basharat brothers. This one, the younger, Farid, want to know out of London shoot, a very, very capable and deadly martial artist in every single realm, which is going to be another great fight given the fact that Robbie Brown's got the skills he's got. Farid Basharat coming from the London shoot fighters, massive shark tank of pedigree fighters, and with his older brother coming into the limelight, he's really got to step up the plate and come into the Rise of Champions and make a stamp. Looking to come in and showcase his striking and grappling skills. In particular, watch out for his double leg takedown. And here he is, Farida Basharat. Back to Grant Waterman to get this one started here in London tonight at the Rise of Champions. Ladies and gentlemen, this next contest is in the Rise of Champions Bantamweight Division. Introducing these two warriors, the fighter standing in the blue corner. He weighed in at 129.4 pounds. He represents the closed combat arena. He is Robbie Brown. And standing across the cage in the red corner, he weighed in at 136 pounds. He represents the world famous London Shoot Fighters. He is Farid Basharat. Your referee in charge of action is Dan over here. Daniel Movahidi in charge, the third man between the walls of the rock ring tonight. Here in London, out of the red corner, Farid Basharat, out of London Shoot Fighters, taking on Robbie Brown in the blue from Closed Combat Arena. Farid Basharat in the tight black shorts on the outside, looking for the very tenacious striking game showcase tonight. Looking for the big aerial kicks he's known for, and he's able to really use that lateral movement to get him out of danger. Robbie trying to find his rhythm on the outside. Utilizing some good head movement off the bat. Needs to get in and land some shots himself. And that would be certainly the Taekwondo background of the Basharat brothers that will cause trouble. You know, think fighters like Anthony Pettis, really dynamic strikers who learn the rest, the other facets, if you will, of mixed martial arts. Robbie looking for the body shot on the outside. Needs to catch Basharat coming in. Catch him when he's committed to a strike, or indeed one of those lovely aerial kicks, and do some damage to the body and then go up top. 
And what he has to be patient in this instance, Chris. He can't rush in. Yeah, and what Bashrat would like him to do is commit too hard and then try to counter him. Bashrat giving him a lot of angles, a lot of looks, a lot of different moves. And what that does is throw things off because on the flip side of the coin, Robbie Brown has a very direct Muay Thai style, moving in very predictable patterns. And there we go, Basharat with the single leg. I mean, he operates like a fighter who's had 10 times those fights, Dean. Basharat coming in with a double leg setup, switched it to the single leg on the inside, gets his opponent down, Robbie, tying up the arms quite wisely, limiting the damage from the top from Farid Basharat. And the thing that just screams maturity about these Basharat brothers is the way that they transition seamlessly from every single move and maneuver that they make. Took his man down, winds up in full guard, has to defend and watch the arms. He's doing everything correctly this far. But make no mistake, a guy like Robbie Brown, a veteran, is going to ask big questions. And look at that, Basharat defends and then goes immediately in to strike. Doesn't give him a moment. Could be setting up the Das choke here on the inside. Oh, and the tap, yeah. Beautiful stuff by Farid. Senses that Robbie left his arm off the top there. Slips his own arm underneath the neck. That rear naked choke position squeezes and obtain the taps. And what skills. I mean, let's be honest, Robbie Brown showed off some nice kicks, some good straight punches, but seemed to be very confused by Farid's movements and unpredictability in transitions. It makes me wonder whether over there at London Shoot they've got a little workbench with test tubes and secret ingredients that they're out there manufacturing day and night, these next generation fighters. Every time they show up in the ring, Dean, they've got new skills. And tonight, the epitome of that in Farid Basharat. Ladies and gentlemen, after just two minutes and 17 seconds of the very first round, we have a winner by way of a dance choke, Farid Basharat! And ladies and gentlemen, please show your appreciation for a gap and rock by Robbie Brown.